Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to Circling Sales Supports, more specifically CSS Futures. For this one, the exciting announcement that Ballard FC has announced their third head coach in club history, James Riley, former Seattle Sounder James Riley, is the newest head coach in Ballard history. He becomes the third head coach in the club's franchise history after Jason Farrell, who had obviously his own extensive soccer history here in the Pacific Northwest dating back. Um, he had the head coaching job for season one and then through about the halfway mark or so of season two before Ethan O'Neill took over. O'Neill helped, you know, finish the job there, get them to the USL League Two Championship, win that at Starfire Stadium. Back in November, it was announced that O'Neill would be pursuing other opportunities. And then there was the question, who is going to be the newest head coach of Ballard FC? We find out that it will be James Riley. In the official press release uh, from Ballard regarding the move, um, talks obviously about the expensive, extensive experience of Riley, but also since his playing career has ended and even maybe even before it really officially ended, Riley has gotten into a lot of youth coaching. Um, so that leadership is already there. Um, I, this is an exciting hire. I mean, I think it makes a lot of sense. Um, you know, Ballard's had some strong coaches already <laughs> in its in its brief uh, history here in USL League Two. Um, so it's really uh, uh -oh, just making sure nothing's happening. OK, um, it's cool to see that it continues. You continue to have such great experienced coaches um, continuing to lead this team and it's only in their third season we've got three coaches who have done such a, uh well i don't want to speak already on riley's tenure but three experienced coaches um you know talking about riley having played over a decade in mls 11 seasons uh stops at a, a number of clubs obviously i mentioned that he's a former sounder also played at dc united la galaxy I think we can get the exact list here. You know, went to college at Wake Forest. He played for the Colorado Rush back from 1998 to 2001, the year that I was born. Uh, Colorado Dynamo, Colorado Springs Blizzard, New England Revolution, San Jose Earthquakes, Chivas, DC United, LA Galaxy Rapids in 2015. Then there's a three-year gap. Then he went to play for Tacoma Stars in the Indoor League. Um so uh, obviously a long career there. Uh, the most uh, six goals, 268 appearances professionally, 82 in college, three goals in college there. Um, but obviously, you know, it's it's nice as well to have someone with this experience, whether it's playing or coaching, just considering what the year ahead lies um, or has in store for Ballard, whether it's having to play a memorial this year because of the construction at Interbase Stadium, uh, all of the different teams, West Seattle, Bellevue, Tacoma, that are joining USL League to a specific division to battle Ballard FC as they look to not only, you know, continue to remain in the fight for a title, they have to defend the title they won last year, right? So uh, there's the U.S. Open Cup to look forward to. So there's a lot that's coming ahead for Ballard. Uh, and it's nice, again, to have a experienced head coach uh, that, you know, not, again, an extensive playing career, but also that extensive leadership experience uh, when it comes to already having coached a little bit. So talks about here a little bit about his coaching experience. Uh, there is a quote here from Lamar Nagel. Uh, we are delighted to welcome James Riley to, Ballard, Riley to Ballard FC as our new head coach. His impressive track record both on and off the field aligns perfectly with our vision for the future of the club. With James at the helm, we are confident in our ability to continue competing at the highest level. I don't doubt that uh, with with this hire. I mean, it's it's a really smart hire. It's not one that necessarily popped into my mind Um when we saw the announcement of Ethan O'Neill's departure, but it's it's another strong get. Um, Riley, in his quote, uh, says, it's a great honor to be chosen as the new head coach of Ballard FC. The club's impressive history of success and unwavering dedication to excellence for the community of Ballard and the greater Seattle region is truly remarkable. Uh, with a humble and servant leadership approach, I am excited to lead this exceptional team into 2024 and beyond. I feel incredibly privileged and enthusiastic to contribute to the growth and success of this remarkable project up the bridges. So excellent there. I want to look 
um, a little bit into the coaching career here. Um, wow, Riley has five U.S. Open Cup titles. Hopefully that bodes well for Ballard. Uh, <laughs> let's see. He announced his uh, re retirement as an active player on June 23rd, 2016. Uh, one month prior, he had been appointed to the MLS's Director of Player Relations. So, again, extensive history. When Lamar Nagel says extensive history on and off the field, he's not kidding. Um, a position that had been vacant since Ali Curtis became the New York Red Bull Sporting Director. Don't care. Uh, in April 2018, it was announced that Riley would take a position on the broadcasting for the Sounders and their USL affiliate team, Seattle Sounders 2. Uh, in 2018, news announced as the captain for the Cascadia official soccer team to compete at the 2018 Canifa uh, World Cup in London. Wow. So, very, very, yeah. No, I mean, and then you look at some of the other stuff. I mean, there's stuff from James Riley at Eastside United. I believe he's got his own... Um, He's got his own academy as well. So, you know, the talk, yeah, Washington Youth Soccer did a profile on him and his youth soccer development. Um, he's got JR7 Soccer. Yeah, so he's is a JR7 Soccer is a service-based business providing elite soccer training and mentorship. So, you know, again, the word that I'm going to leave with with this announcement um, is experience because, you know, obviously you look at James Riley and you look what he's done. There's a ton of it. So. Uh, yeah, just wanted to get this out and briefly talk about the the signing and the hiring. Um, obviously, there's a lot of excitement. There's rumors of a certain big name player coming back, but I don't want to speculate too much. Obviously, it's a fun rumor, so we'll see if it comes out to fruition. Um, and there's there's other things to look forward to as well with with the season. You know, as I mentioned, Memorial Stadium this year for the one year U.S. Open Cup. Uh, there's the newest artist kit designed by Stevie Shaw. So it's it's going to be a big year for Ballard, and it'll be really exciting to see um, how Riley performs as head coach and, and what else um, happens for the club here. So looking forward to that and looking forward to the USL League 2 season as a